While the Nets were out west recently, I asked some of my friends what they would do if they had 24 hours in his shoes. Listen to this. I want to know if you were commissioner for a day, what is one thing that you would change? Uh, wow, that's a good one. Yeah. One you thing, wanted to be surprised. Well, I did want to be surprised. One thing I would change. Uh, oh, this is easy. We got to get rid of those clothesline fouls that stop fast breaks that aren't clear path fouls. You know, like when yeah. you're dribbling up the court and I just hit you to stop. We got to abolish that immediately. We want to see fast breaks. What is the? They're not basketball plays. They're fouls on the ball, and because there's someone behind me, I get away with not having a clear path foul. They're just, yeah, I just, it, you just hit people. Get, abolish it. It should be two shots in the ball. I, I'm a fan of player empowerment. Okay. I, I like that guys have been able to have more of a manifest destiny when they want to build their team together. And so I, I would have some sort of either a compensation um, uh, program where if say a player does request a trade or, or, or takes it into his own hands, that that's not so frowned upon as much as it is right now. And, and perhaps the team that has to go through it, they could get some sort of commensurate pick down the line or something yeah. that the league would provide, that it yeah. wouldn't be that the other team trading uh, for that player would have to provide, so that more of these deals would be possible. I will go from, what is that, $99 million cap yeah. to like $75 for, I would bring it, the cap down, right? Because I'll spread these superstar guys out and put them on different teams. That way they compete against each other and cut out all the super teams. So that's what I would do. You wouldn't have the payroll to put a KD and a Steph and a Clay and a Boogie and a Draymond on one team. Nah, we so, but, 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 but you understand, we're on, the only reason why the cap is that high is because the league is making that much money. Are we just going to give the, the money back to the league? What are we doing as players? As players, I think... We, if you make all NBA team and things of that nature, yeah, and, that's, and where also, that's where you get your boost. A lot more bonuses because we can't oh, just give money to the top no, guys like no. you. I'm tired of that. No, no, no. I'm tired of that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I heard that one before. That's a good one. <laughs> See, when you're, when you're with your friends and you just want to support them, like Tracy, I love Tracy. Uh, he's like a big brother. But yeah, Tracy, I do recall you teaming up with Grant Hill, you leaving Toronto, uh, him leaving, uh, him, or, or him leaving Detroit. Toronto, uh, Grant, Grant Hill, Hill leaving Detroit, Detroit, and then Tim Duncan almost went. Went, almost went. He so wanted a super he, team That back was then. almost <laughs> the first super team. They were all free agents in the exact same year, but now he wants to spread them out. Okay, Tracy, what are your thoughts? Think, if you were commissioner I, for a day. Well, first of all, I think when Tracy McGrady said that I think Michelle Roberts, LeBron James, and Chris Paul fell off their chairs hearing that. <laughs> that oh, a player wants to reduce the cap. A couple of things. Number one, a quick one. Overtime during the regular season, it's a three-minute overtime, one timeout per team. Let's play. Okay. Enough of the five minutes. But My big one is playoffs. Best 16 teams. One through 16. Let's reward the best records in the league. And don't shake your head. I don't want to hear about travel. <laughs> You're not traveling by stagecoach. No, but you travel by charter but, plane. But it's, it's the time difference. It's the advantage for the team. If a team, like let's say Philadelphia, if they play Portland in the first round just because of matched up. And then the, and let's say the Nets were to play the Knicks. And then in the second round, let's say you know uh, Philly plays right. Golden State. Like that amount of travel ultimately. It, and, it elim and it eliminates. But it eliminates rivalries. Boston wants to play against Philly. Philly wants to get a second chance at, at, you at think Boston. If, you think if Boston played the Lakers in a playoff series, it'd be bad? If it you was in, if the, if it was in the first round, if it was in the Why second not? round? No. I, well, when you were saying that about the travel, they should have played violin music. The poor players. You just think you'd have to order two meals on the cross-country flight. We feel badly for it. It's for the fans. Get the best 16 teams in the playoffs. It eliminates rivalries. It, it will eliminate rivalries. No one will care if Chicago versus Sacramento are playing a Two seven seed. You'll create no, a rivalry. You can't create a rivalry throughout all the teams. That's impossible. It'll, it'll it'll happen. I think you need to get the top six. The time has come to get the best sixteen teams. I in think the you could not be any not what, more not wrong. Not what Dave McMenamin said. Be it's nice. It's time to for another break on the pregame show.